this morning at 10. And first dates Fred Syriex and Will Miller join Loose Women at 12.30. The latest ITV news in the Anglia region. Tonight's main stories. Thousands of nurses at hospitals and health trusts across our region vote to go on strike in their first ever national walkout over pay. Why shouldn't they get more money? They do a real good job. It could be very detrimental to the patients, so therefore I really don't think it's morally right that they should strike. More chaos on the region's roads and a police motorcyclist is injured as climate protesters bring the M25 to a standstill again. A test in the jungle and more criticism from back home. A Suffolk MP Matt Hancock tackles his first Bush Tucker trial. A sharp rise in crowd disorder at matches is partly blamed on increased drug use among some fans. And ITV's Menopause Plus provides food for thought and a safe space for women as it stops off in Southend. Hello from Victoria Lee and welcome to the programme. First tonight, thousands of the region's nurses are set to strike the first UK-wide walkout in their Whoa. union's history. The Royal College of Nursing says it's fighting for fair pay and safe staffing. Their campaign for a pay rise of 5% above inflation. The government says that would be a 17% rise costing around £9 billion and is simply not deliverable. Well, here nurses are set to strike at many of our health trusts before Christmas in major hospitals, including Addenbrooke's in Cambridge, Broomfield in Chelmsford, Colchester, Ipswich and the West Suffolk, as well as for some GP surgeries and mental and community health trusts. Rob Setchell is at the Norfolk and Norwich Hospital for us this evening. Good evening, Rob. Or nursing staff voting for industrial action at there as well. Yeah, David, nursing staff here at Norfolk's biggest hospital, they come from almost a hundred different countries across the world. Tonight, many of them are saying enough is enough. The RCN says that experienced nurses are now 20% worse off compared to a decade ago. They also point to record vacancy rates in the NHS, putting them under pressure. And they say that these strikes will be as much for patients as they are for staff because standards are slipping too low and something must be done. It's incredibly difficult for nurses because um, the pay has not kept pace with other industries. The cost of living crisis has clearly exacerbated financial issues for nurses and we are hearing stories on a regular basis that nurses are turning to food banks to feed themselves and their families. Rob, so what does the government have to say about this? Well, North East Cambridgeshire MP and Health Secretary Steve Buckley says his door is open to negotiate, but at the moment he says that nurses' demands are just too far out of step with the challenging economic situation. Well, we hugely value the work that nurses do. Uh, that is why we've committed to the independent pay review body to accept their recommendations in full. One thousand four hundred pound for over a million. Uh, workers. Uh, we also last year recognised the contribution of nurses, that's why nurses receive 3% more than other public sector, most other public sector workers last year as well. Now for context, a starting salary for a nurse in this country is somewhere in the region of £27,000. Today I spoke to lots of people in Norwich asking them if they would support these strikes and a few things struck me. One was that it wasn't hard to find support for them. Another was that it wasn't hard to find concern about the impact on patients. And also, you really don't have to go far to find someone who owes their life to an NHS nurse. Why shouldn't they get more money? They do a royal good job. I have a daughter that nearly, nearly died through COVID. She was in intensive care. And if it wasn't for this nurse coming past at the time, she'd be dead. I 
don't like the idea of it, but if that's the only way they're going to get any uh, benefits, then yeah, let them go for it. How do you get it so that they get paid by it, but also um, not cause disruption in healthcare? It could be very detrimental to the patients, so therefore I really don't think it's morally right that they should strike. However, um, I have that much admiration for nurses. I was in hospital with a blood on the lungs and you know, the NHS saved my life. Well, these strikes are expected to begin before the end of the year. It's important to stress that the RCN say they will be safe and they will be legal. So that means that emergency care will be maintained. But this vote, they say, gives them a mandate to hold more strikes until May next year. OK, Rob, thank you very much. Well, we asked you for your reaction to this story on our Facebook page. Did get in touch, you have to say you were overwhelmingly in favour of the nurses. Veronica Johnson from Suffolk said these angels have worked through the pandemic with dedication and they deserve enough of a pay rise so they can continue to afford to eat. Where have we been for that? Joe Massingham from Norfolk Road, it shouldn't have come to this, but having been a nurse in the past, uh, I think they have every right to strike. Maeve Kamak said, I'm sorry, but no. Who would we, we who have had medical treatment appreciate you so much? You are special people, but strike action is no answer. And Mel Crusher from Cambridgeshire said, Absolutely yes. They've been given no other choice. Two years ago, these people were cast as key workers and heroes. About time they were paid to reflect the work that they do. And as ever, we're very grateful to you for getting in touch with us. Well, it's been revealed that two patients at Adam Brooks Hospital had to wait for more than 60 hours in A&E. The wait's being blamed on unprecedented demand on the service. Cambridge University Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust said capacity in the department was posing a significant quality and safety risk. Our next story this evening, a police motorcyclist has been injured on the M25 in Essex on the third day of climate protest by the Just Stop Oil campaign. Meanwhile, a man's told of his anger.